USID 3300R air conditioners are installed on the roof of each RS3 rail car. They are completely interchangeable. The saloon air conditioning system takes care of all aspects of climatic comfort. It cools or heats the saloon air depending on the varying heat load to maintain the specified target temperature. In addition, the air conditioners filter and dehumidify the air and a controlled flow of ambient fresh air is added while an equivalent amount of polluted exhaust air leaves the saloon. The heat load in a metro rail car varies continuously as a function of the passenger load, ambient climate and sun radiation. If, for example, the number Two SID 3300R air conditioners are installed on the roof of each RS3 rail car. They are completely interchangeable. The saloon air conditioning system takes care of all aspects of climatic comfort. It cools or heats the saloon air depending on the varying heat load to maintain the specified target temperature of each air conditioner in the train set. The display shows the target or the set point temperature specified for each car, the actual saloon temperature measured at each air conditioner, the current mode of operation, and information on possible faults. The air interfaces between the air conditioner and the vehicle becomes better visible when the HVAC unit is removed from the car roof. The return air leaves the passenger saloon through a return air duct situated under the air conditioner. The HVAC unit discharges conditioned air into the supply air interface of the duct running above the false ceiling of the saloon. Fresh air enters through the openings provided on both sides of the air conditioners. Two SID 3300R air conditioners are installed on the roof of each RS3 rail car. They are completely interchangeable. The saloon air conditioning system takes care of all aspects of climatic comfort. It cools or heats the saloon air. Stomeric V-seals running around the return and the supply air openings are compressed to establish leak-tight passage to the supply air and return air duct. To complete the installation, the air conditioner is connected to the vehicle's electrical power supply and control system. The 415-volt three-phase cable and the 110 volt DC control power cable are protected with MCBs. In DT cars, these MCBs are installed in the driver's cab. In M cars, the MCB panel can be accessed from the vestibule. The three phase power MCBs for the two air conditioners are labeled AC1CB and AC2CB respectively. The 110 volt control power MCBs are marked SAC1CCB and SAC2CCB.